this video will cover two different methods of calculating mean, median, and mode of ungrouped data. In statistics, finding the mean, median, and mode is known as measures of central tendency. At times, it's referred to as measures of central location. To learn the two methods, consider this question as an example. 15 kids aged between 5 and 9 were selected for a team football tournament. Calculate the mean, median, mode, and range of the selection. The first step is rearrange the selected numbers in ascending order. Now, let's apply method 1 to find the mean, median, and mode. Let's start with the mean. Next step, count the rearranged numbers. You can see, if you count this number as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and n is usually used to denote the number of selections. Next, add up the numbers. Here, sigma s is usually used to denote the sum of the added numbers. And here we have as the sum to be 108. Next, to calculate the mean, use the formula x bar or the Greek word mu, which simply means the sum of all the numbers over the total number. Here, the sum of all the numbers is 108 and the selected numbers is 15. Hence, our mean is 7.2. Next, find the median. Use the formula n plus 1 divided by 2 to point to the position where the median is located. You can see here that our n is 15 which was obtained from the number of selections. Median is located at the 8th position. To find the median, count the rearranged numbers from the left. The first position is here. This is the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and this is the eighth position is here, which is seven. Seven becomes our median. To find the mode, the mode is simply the number that repeated the most. And here, you see that 7 repeated the most. 7 repeated 5 times. Hence, our mode is 7. The range is simply the highest number minus the lowest number, and which is 4. Method 2 is by constructing a frequency table. Step number one, draw a table like this. Step number two, fill out the table heading like this, starting with the class mark, the tally, the frequency, the frequency multiplied by the class mark, and the cumulative frequency. Step three, fill the table using the given selected numbers. The next step is select each number for the class mark. There are three of these six here, but I will just take only one in here. There are five here, but yet I will just take only one seven. There are four here, but I'm going to just put only one eight. And there are two nine here, but I just need only one. Next step, draw the tally. Five is just only one. Six is three. Seven is five. So after four, the fifth one goes across. Eight is four and nine is two. Next, complete the frequency. The frequency of five is just only one. Six repeated three times. Seven repeated five times. Eight repeated four times. And nine repeated twice. Next, sum all the numbers. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 is a total of 15. Next, the class mark multiply the frequency. Let's start with 5 multiply by 1. Have 5. Next, 6 
multiply by 3. And here we got 18. Next, 7 multiply by 5. We got 35. Next, 8 multiply by 4. We got 32. Next, and the last, 9 multiply by 2. And here we got 18. Next, 5 plus 18 plus 35 plus 32 plus 18. And we got 108. Next is cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency column, we are going to make use of the frequency. Starting with the first one, which is 1. We write 1. Next is 1 plus 3. And our answer is 4. Next is 4 plus 5. And we got 9. Next is 9 plus 4. And we got 13. Next is 13 plus 2. And we got 15. The add up of the cumulative frequency must be equal to the add up of the frequency. If they are not the same, then go back and check where you probably made a mistake. Next is to find the mean. To find the mean, we just need the summation of fx and the summation of f. To calculate the mean, it is 108 from the table divide 15 and this gives us 7.2 just as we got a method one for the median we are going to use the same formula and here we are going to look for the eighth position from the table and it must be from the column of the cumulative frequency it's one it's four it's not up to eight and the eighth position is going to fall in here hence we are going to trace it to seven is our median hence our median of the eighth position is seven next let's find the mode you can see that the number that occurred most there's a coincidence with the median our mode still remain seven hence our mode is seven this is statistics to locate other videos follow the link on the screen our next video is on mean and mean deviation of ungrouped data you can check out these other videos i will see you in the next video